Hey there, boils and ghouls. It's your friend Taryn Tats. I'm back with another video. We got a new 4K to review for today. And, uh, <clears throat> well, sorry. I'm a little late to the party on this one, but you know what? Better late than never. Uh, today, and, you know, I was able to pick this up, and uh, I'm really happy because even though it was $23.99, if I could brag for just a teeny second, it was $23.99 plus tax, but thanks to uh, store credit, I pretty much got it for nothing. So today, you already know by the title, from Paramount, we have The Crow, this amazing movie, 30th Anniversary Edition, starring the late, great Brandon Lee, and, you know, yeah, um, I gotta be honest, I really haven't watched that many of The Crow movies, I saw this one, I saw the second one, City of Angels, and I really haven't watched any of the other ones, I should probably get on that. Uh, the new one, I don't know. Um, I probably will watch it, but I'm not in any, you know, like super great hurry to see it. But anyway, but this movie, I remember I watched, I love this movie. It's fantastic. Everything about this movie, it's almost a perfect film. I mean, just about everything about this movie works. The story is amazing. Brandon Lee, you know, the most amazing performance you could ask for. And I know I kind of, you know, I know I kind of went with the, uh, the slip cover, admit i did look at the steel book and and i know that's what most people are showing up mostly everybody went for the steel book and i don't know i i had the both of them in my hand and you know okay steel book and, and i don't know the steel book just didn't do it for me i like this look much better this to me kind of like encapsulates the crow much better you know you got the black it's like you know the punk and the got the black and white with the you know kind of the punk gothic aesthetic of the whole thing and and you know, to me, that's kind of what, you know, really spoke out to me more. And so that's why I just, I would rather just go ahead and get this, you know. And, um, yeah. Unfortunately, though, you can see, like, right there, there's a tiny little nick right there. Oh, well, not tiny, but, yeah, unfortunately, it's pretty visible nick. But, unfortunately, that happened when I was trying to take the damn sticker off, you know. But other than that, you know, we're in good condition. So there's the back of it. You can tell I've already got it cased up. Everything, because yeah, I just I love the way this this slip. I know, you know, I know. If you're not into slip covers, that's fine. Just you know, this one here, just you know, I really enjoy this slip cover. I was just like, yeah, I want to, I want to have this one. I want to keep this one. So we got some new special features too, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, we got Shadow and Pain designing the Crow, Sideshow Collectibles, an interview with Edward R. Pressman. But then you get the original bonus features. You got audio commentary with director Alex Alex Proyas. Audio commentary by producer Jeff Most and screenwriter John Shirley. Uh, behind the scenes featurette, a profile on James O. Barr, uh, the creator of The Crow. Extended scenes, deleted footage montage, and trailer. So yeah, so we got some nice bonus features in here. And we'll go ahead and we'll, we go, but we'll take it out. As you can see, yeah, pretty much the exact same thing. Not much there different. Uh, you got the 4K, you got the digital code, and for the digital enthusiasts out there, if somebody, if somebody should give you a code from, you know, this edition, the 4K edition, uh, you should, be, you know, you should get the 4K version of the film. That's what I got when I redeemed my code. So yeah, you should get the 4K uh, code, and uh, it's very simple. Of course, you know, with 23.99, you know, you can't really expect super huge, you know, stuff. And you see right there, there's the disc right there. And no, uh, no reversible cover art, but anyway, still. And like I said, it's very basic, very simple. Twenty three ninety nine. You're not gonna get, you know, uh, vinegar syndrome level of, you know, quality or anything like that. So I'm just gonna case this up real quick. And yeah, this is a pretty quick and easy review. Um, so anyway, so there we go. Yeah. I like that. Like I said, the only thing I hate is just that scratch I got there because of that, ah, because of the damn sticker. But other than that, you know, it's like, oh well, I'll survive. Life will go on. But yeah, this movie is amazing. And uh, as far as the picture quality goes, you know, other people have already reviewed this 4K and they've said, you know, how, you know, this movie looks really good. And I have to, you know, follow that sentiment. This movie looks amazing in 4K. This is a movie. You're kind of like, oh yeah, 4K and HDR, That's this is the kind of movie that sort of thing is made for, you know. 
it is, you know, you will see so much more detail in the whole, you know, the just the detail in the scenery. And, and one thing I thought was like really blew me away, like just visually stunning, is the scene where um, when Eric Draven, Brandon Lee's character, where he comes home or he comes back to his apartment and, and you know, you see all the detail inside of the the run down, uh, broken down, what used to be his and his girlfriend's, uh, Shelly's apartment. And, you know, you see, you know, like he's doing the flashback and, you know, like the mix of the black and the red and everything else. And it's just like, holy cow, you know, and just, you know, seeing him, you know, get into his transformation to become the, you know, the crow, the Avenger and everything else, you know, that scene was amazing. And another thing is too, is like, um, this movie, um, I will say if there was a negative, it's just, you know, some of the uh, 90s uh, CGI doesn't hold up the best. There are a couple of sequences, like, okay, like the part where uh, where Eric Draven is, you know, confronting Fun Boy, and he gets shot in the hand, you know, and, you know, you can see it's like, woo -hoo. you see the, you know, you see the uh, wound close up, and ah, woo-hoo, and all that, and, you know, you could definitely see, like, oh, yeah, it's, you know, the shot of the hand with the background shot doesn't really match up, but... You know, it's little things like that, but you could forgive it. I mean, other, I mean, this movie does look fantastic. And you really get the, you know, and plus you got a, you know, it, it's not super grainy or anything like that, but it's not like, you know, like really, really like digitally polished up or anything like that. The transfer on here is fantastic. You do get, there is a little bit of grain in the film quality and stuff like that, but I think it kind of works. That's just my personal opinion. I think it works pretty well because, you know, with, that little bit of film grain you get in there, plus when, you know, you see the detail of, you know, the city and, and everything, like, you really get the, the gritty, the sense of the gritty landscape and everything that the movie takes place in, and, and you know, you just kind of get that kind of dirty vibe that, you know, all these people are with living within this, you know, nasty, dirty, run-down city and everything, and, you know, it really does come across quite well in the 4K, and I just, like, wow. And just, you know, looking at it, and holy cow, just, I was really blown away by the picture quality. Sound quality, that's another matter. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't know. It's like, I don't know if other people had this problem, but to me, it's like, you know, if you got a great sound system, I'm sure, you know, yeah, you'll be fine. But, like, trying to watch this on just a, you know, TV with just regular speaker, I really had to crank the audio up. I don't know if it was just the settings on my player or whatever. I tried, you know... I tried to redo it, but I don't know. I couldn't really get much out of it. But just, yeah, the sound didn't really blow me away. It, you know, watching it with just, you know, the regular speaker on the TV, probably, perhaps, if, you know, you do the, uh, you know, if you have, like, a good sound bar, you got, you know, a good surround sound system and everything else, I'm sure that, you know, the sound will knock you on your butt. But uh, overall, just, you know, just I am so happy. And I think, you know, this is, you know, like, the other day I made a video talking about you know like the stuff about like 4k and stuff like that like this is what you really want you know and you, like this is how you really want to try to get people into 4k is you know like here you go you know something that's not like price gouging the hell out of you it, you know here you go 23.99 you know a decent price not anything too outrageous you know um i'm sure yeah of course give it a little bit of time it'll go down you know most likely yeah if you want to wait till Black Friday to pick this up, you probably get it for like around ten bucks, I'm sure. But, um, but even still, you know, twenty three ninety nine. That's not a bad price for a four K. And just you know, when you consider, okay, you got you know, you know, you got you know, you, you know, you got a beautiful slip cover. You got new bonus features. You know, um, yeah. I mean, it's almost like boutique label quality. You know, plus you got your digital code. And everything else, you know, and uh, for a reasonable price. Like, this is the kind of stuff I wish we could get more of. You know, I wish they would stop trying to go farther away and trying to make, you know, 4K so much more expensive and, you know, try to make it, you know, make it reasonable, you know. So, and that's the thing, you know. And I think if, you know, if the price could go lower, if, you know, over time, people, little bit by little bit, people are getting into 4K and stuff like that. But so many are still not into it, you know. And the problem is, if you're going to keep doing all these, you know, ridiculously expensive editions, they're never going to be into it. But just overall, yeah, I am so glad and I'm happy to have this. And it's a great movie. It's a classic film. 30-year anniversary. Happy to have it. You know, 
rest in pre peace, Brandon Lee. We miss you. We really do. But just, you know, it's an amazing film. And honestly, oh, yeah. Like, I wouldn't, you know, if you ask me, you know, should I pick this up on 4K? I wouldn't even hesitate. I'd tell you, yeah, pick it up. Pick it up. It's worth it, you know. You got the extra, you know, more bonus features, everything. You know, there's no reason, you know, and it's at least at a reasonable price. So there's that too. So, so yeah. And if you want, you know, and the steel book, you know, it was like this was twenty three ninety nine. The steel book, at least my local record store, was only twenty seven ninety nine. So only a four dollar more difference for the steel book. That's not bad either. You know, I mean, when you consider what you know, some studios and some boutique companies is what they want to sell steel books for. Twenty-seven ninety-nine. That's you know not too bad, you know. So, yeah, this is it. I'm happy. I'm really happy. This is, you know, this is when you feel like you know, this is when it feels like you know, yeah, four K collecting is totally worth it and stuff. At least for me. But anyway, so yeah, there we go. Overall, I'm really happy with it, on every level. So, I know some people will be like, oh well, you know, yeah, they could have at least included the the blu-ray in it and it's like well, well yeah that's true but so i don't know so anyway so that's it so uh if anybody took the time to watch this i thank you for doing it i appreciate you for doing it i honestly hope you enjoyed the video and i appreciate you even more because you know like i said i'm late to the party i know people have beat me to this so if you still took the time to watch my video you know man i can't i can't tell you how cool all of you guys are you know I mean, everybody has already reviewed this one, but you still took the time to watch mine. Man, talk about kings and queens, all of you. So anyway, so that's it. So uh, take care, everybody. Have a good night. See you later. Bye.